Hello, everyone. Welcome to Heart Alchemy Yoga on YouTube. I'm Michelle Goldstein, and today I'm going to lead you through a power yoga flow. Before we get started, friendly reminder, subscribe to Heart Alchemy if you haven't already. Be sure to hit the bell icon so that you're notified whenever we post new videos, which are regularly. And sign up for our email list at heartalchemyyoga.com for a chance to win a Heart Alchemy Yoga woman's muscle tank or men's t-shirt. So we're giving away one of those every month to one new lucky subscriber of our email list. There's a link in the first comment of this video for that. Let's get started with our practice today. And we'll start out in child's pose, as I usually do. But today in child's pose, tuck your toes if you can, and then sink your hips back on your heels. So with the toes tucked, helps to stretch the tops of the feet. Begin to deepen the breath. In and out of your nose. You move into a little ujjayi breath. And then we'll flow with it. So you'll come up to hands and knees, untuck the toes, inhale, arch your back to cow, and exhale, round through your spine to cow. Inhale, arch the back, and exhale, round into cat pose. And one more time, inhale, arch, and exhale, round. Let's inhale to neutral, tuck the toes, lift the hips, press back, down dog. Oh, it feels so good, doesn't it? <laughs> Take a few deep breaths. Spread your fingers along the ground. And yeah, with deep appreciation for especially these first few moments as we carve out a little space in our minds, our hearts, in our bodies. Let's lift the right leg, please inhale. And exhale, step right foot up to the front of your mat. Lower the back knee. Take the arms up on Janayasana. And you can sink the left hip a little bit, but keep the low belly engaged. Right hip hugs into the left. Good. And then we'll bring the fingertips down to the mat. Straighten the right leg as best you can. You could even slide the right heel forward a little bit. Curl the right toes back. Flex the right foot. Feel the right hip hug back as you lengthen your spine forward. And then on an inhale, bend your right knee, plant the right foot, float the arms up. As you exhale, straighten the right leg, flex the right foot, fold forward a little. Good. Inhale, bend the right knee, 
Plant the right foot, arms reach up, Anjana. Exhale, right leg straight, hug the right hip back. And then last time, bend the right knee, arms reach up, inhale. Exhale, hands down, tuck back toes, step back, downward facing dog. Beautiful. And we'll inhale, drift forward to plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale to cobra pose. And exhale, down dog. Deep breaths. We do this feel good practice today. Just kind of flowy. And the feel good, remember that as you move. Inhale, left leg lift. Exhale, left foot lunge, lower the back knee. You can keep the back toes tucked or untucked as you come in for Anjane. And let it feel good. Let the movement feel really nice in your body. Belly in. Wrists back a little bit. Hug the left hip into the right hip so you're not collapsing to the side. And then we'll straighten the left leg, fingertips down. Flex the left foot and feel the left hip hug into the midline of your body. Breathe. And then we'll plant the left foot, bend the left knee, arms reach up, inhale. Exhale, left leg straight, fold forward. Inhale, bend the left knee, arms reach up. Exhale, left leg straight, fold in a little. Good. Inhale, plant the left foot, bend the left knee, arms reach up. Exhale, hands down, tuck back, toes, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath. Beautiful. And then we'll step the right foot through to the front of your mat. Come up, warrior two. Spin the back heel flat. Warming up a little bit differently than we often do. Soften your shoulders. Feel the left leg straighten as you root down through the feet. Breathe. And then three times, straighten your right leg. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, palms through the midline, bend the right knee, come back, warrior two, and then big circles with the arms. Inhale, right leg straight, arms reach up. Exhale, palms through, Anjali Mudra, as you move back to warrior two. And one more time, inhale, leg straight, arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Let's reverse that warrior. Inhale. Exhale, release hands. Step back. Lower down. Inhale, cobra pose. 
Exhale, downward dog. Yes. Just take a cycle or two of breath here. Push up out of the shoulder. Left foot steps through, back heel to the ground, come up, warrior two. Get that back leg, that right leg really straight. Inner legs hug together. And then we'll inhale, arms up, left leg straight. Exhale, palm through the midline. Come back, warrior two. Two more times, carve the space you move through. Inhale, legs straight, arms up. Exhale, back, warrior two. Last time, inhale, straighten, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse warrior, inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat, step to plank, and lower down. Inhale to cobra. Exhale, down dog. Let the breath feel good as it moves through you. And then when you're ready, just bring the feet to the front of the mat, lengthen, inhale, fold, exhale, interlace fingers behind the back for a breath, bend the knees, Utkatasana, inhale, exhale, fold forward, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step left foot straight back behind you. Come up to crescent pose. We're just switching things up a little bit. It's good. The way that we move, the way that we sequence. And for the last breath, lift the heart, inhale. Exhale, hands down to the ground. Step to down dog, lift that right leg up, inhale. Exhale, right knee to the chest, shift forward to plank. Inhale, back to dog, right leg lift. Exhale again, right knee to the chest, shift forward. Last time, inhale, right leg lifts up, and then check it out. Exhale, right knee to the chest, and then we're going to take that right knee, set it down under your right hip. Spin the left heel flat to the floor. Right hand moves under right shoulder. Left arm reaches up. And then left arm over left ear. Root down through the left foot and reach through the left fingertip. Beautiful. And then bring left hand down. Come back to the left toes. Hug that right knee into your chest again and step the right foot through to the front of your mat. Step the left foot up to meet the right. Lengthen, inhale. Fold, exhale. Interlace fingers behind your back for a breath. And then bend the knees, Utkatasana. Inhale here. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. 
Exhale, right foot steps straight back behind you. Come up, crescent. Breathe. Soften the shoulders. Hug the inner legs together. And then take the wrists back for a breath, lift the heart, inhale, exhale, hands to the mat, step back to dog, lift that left leg, inhale, exhale, left knee to the chest, shift forward, good, inhale, back to dog, lift the left leg, exhale, hug the left knee in, and last time, left leg lifts, inhale, Exhale, left knee hugs in, and then set that left knee down under your left hip. Spin the right heel flat, left hand under left shoulder. Right arm reaches up, right arm over right ear. Grab the side stretch. Let it feel so good. And then right hand down. Come back on, up on those right toes. Hover the left knee back into your chest. And then step the left foot through to the front of your space. Right foot steps up to meet the left. Lengthen, inhale. Fold, exhale. Rise all the way up. Inhale, reach. Exhale, palms connect in front of the heart. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa, step or jump back. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. All right. Let's step the right foot through to the front of your mat, back heel to the ground, warrior two. Moving all over the mat today. Straighten the right leg, lengthen forward. We'll come into triangle pose. Flex the quadriceps. Get space across your chest. Feel the belly hug in and the spine get long with space around your neck. Then come up, warrior two. Warrior two. Okay, straighten the right leg, turn the right foot in, and we'll fold in half into Prasarita Pada Tanasana. Prasarita Pada Tanasana. Shoulders away from ears. See if you can grab your heels, and if you can't, you can grab blocks. Move the shoulders away from the ears. Beautiful, and then come up to stand. Okay, and let's turn the left foot out. Bend the left knee, warrior two. Wrap right arm under left arm, so you're an eagle wrap warrior two legs and we're going to step to eagle facing the back of your mat breathe hug the forearms together shoulders down the back
Okay, let's step back, warrior two, release the arms. Straighten the left leg, left foot turns in, turn that right foot back out, bend the right knee, come in for side angle for a few breaths. So again, with that side stretch, it's a range of motion. The side stretching is super important for lymphatic flow, energy movement, space in the heart and lungs. But in most of our stretches in yoga, we tend to do more like forward and back bending, right? <clears throat> so this is a really good one. Root down through the outer left foot, reach through the fingertips, inhale. And then exhale, both hands down. Come up on the back toes, lower that back knee. Okay, check it out from here. You can be on the left fingertips or you can be on a block with your left hand <clears throat> or you can plant the left hand flat. Bend your left knee and see if you can catch your left foot with your right hand. So we're coming in for a little quad stretch. Spread the toes, hug the belly in, and see if you can get a little rotation in the upper back. Beautiful, you guys. Release. Step back, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, back, down dog. All right, let's step left foot through, back heel flat, warrior two. And then we'll straighten left leg, lengthen forward. Like the lengthening forward is intentional to get length through your spine. Left hand down. You can use a block here too. So part of your spine is your neck, right? So like check in with your shoulders. Check in with your head and let it feel good. Like... If the poses aren't feeling good to you, then something needs to adjust. You can always back it off. And come up, warrior two. And we'll straighten that left leg, parallel the feet, and fold forward. And again, see if you can grab your heels. And then rather than pulling, like allow the pose to unfold. Allow it to happen. Less pulling, less pushing, more allowing. And as you breathe here, maybe your spine gets a little longer. Maybe your breath gets a little deeper. All right, let's come on up to stand. Turn the right foot out, bend the right knee, warrior two. Left arm under right. For eagle wrap and we're going to step left leg up and over right leg for eagle give it a little hug with the inner legs and the forearm shoulders down the back belly in
Very nice. Let's unravel. Step back, warrior two. And then right leg straight, right foot turns in. Left foot turns out. Come back to warrior two. Bend the left knee. Left forearm to left thigh, right arm over right ear. You can certainly come deeper, but let it feel good. Do it because it feels good, not because you think it's so much. If you're think, overthinking it, then it's not yoga. So it's not, be, we don't do what we do because we think it's the right thing. In yoga, we practice knowing with our whole hearts, following that as a compass. Beautiful, and then both hands down. Come up on back toes, lower the right knee. Adjust, okay, so either on the fingertips, on a block, or right hand can be flat on the ground. Bend the right knee, catch the right foot with the left hand, and we'll come in for that little quad stretch. Get a little rotation in the upper back and let it feel good. Lovely. Okay, let's release. Downward facing dog. Okay, inhale to plank. Exhale to the ground. Release the toes. Let's reach the arms back. Press the tops of your feet down. Interlace fingers. Lift the chest up. Good. Now keep all that working. Tops of the feet press so that the knees lift up. Good. And then bend the knees. Catch the feet. Inner legs hug together, squeeze the glutes, lift the chest. Even better yet, lift the heart. Allow the pose to lift itself, maybe even spirits lift too. Very nice release. You can make a pillow with your hands, rest your forehead down, rock your hips back and forth a little bit. Perfect. All right. Let's turn around, lie down on your back. Okay. Lie down on your back and cross your right ankle over your left thigh. You guys know this is my favorite, right? This is such a good pose to add to your daily to your daily, you know, even if you don't practice yoga every day. It's just a good one for releasing the back. And it's perfect if you sit a lot, if you stand a lot, if you run, if you bike, if you hike, if you, you know, whatever you do, it's just, it's a good one and breathe.
Perfect. Okay, let's switch sides. Do be mindful to flex your feet in this pose. And also, allow it. Allow the depth of the pose to unfold, to happen, as opposed to making it happen. Allow it. Beautiful, all right. Let's cross right knee on top of left knee and we'll take the eagle variation of a twist. Drop the knees over to the left, right shoulder toward the floor. And then back to center, uncross the legs, left knee on top of right. You can take the hips a little bit to the left as you drop the knees over to the right, left shoulder to the ground. And you can turn your head toward the left if that feels good on your neck. Beautiful, and then back to center, uncross the legs. Let's take one happy baby pose. Feel the spine lengthen along the ground. Knees to chest. And then release your legs. Release your arms. Shavasana.
bring some awareness back into your physical body. Give your arms and your legs a stretch. Bend your knees. Roll onto your side. And press yourself up to sit. Any comfortable seat. Close your eyes. Notice how you feel in your body. Remember that feeling good is your birthright. And think of something in your life that you're so grateful for. Allow your heart to expand. With gratitude. for this gift. Connect the palms together in front of your heart. And take a moment to offer out some of the fruits of your practice to something, some place, or somebody who you either know or even that you don't know who could use a little extra today. and bow. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Notice how you feel when you send out to others. I just want to add that in because um, that's part of feeling good, right? Like all that is not given is lost, truly. So this is why we love sharing with you and giving to you as well. It is such a joy to be a part of this community with you guys, all of you. Thank you so much. This is Michelle Goldstein. You're at Heart Alchemy Yoga on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to Heart Alchemy if you haven't already and sign up for our email list. We're giving away a women's muscle tank or a men's t-shirt every month to one new lucky email subscriber. Thank you so very much, you guys. Leave us your comments. Let us know how this practice worked out for you. We will see you soon.